Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Stalker Gamma Ecologist run. We are still playing Dr. Krominov, uh, the Ecologist, which uh, is pretty fun. We're not killing any Stalkers if we have a choice. And uh, we are mostly based on finding artifacts and killing mutants for research, for science. So last episode, we started out in the Great Swamps and we made our way back to Rostock where we uh, got all the items from our stash. Sorry, I lost my words there for a second. We had a lot of items in our stash, including some good armors and weapons. And then we made our way through army warehouses where we fought a couple of bloodsuckers and a chimera. It was pretty. It was a pretty fun fight. And then we made our way back home to Dead City, where we set up our base. Um, yes, we also managed to fix our Seva bodysuit, which is actually amazing. It's a little bit of an upgrade over what we had before, although we have less belt slots. It does have some better base, um, base stats. We also fixed our SSP Ruby, which is amazing. It's got a lot of burn resist. It's got some electrical and a little bit of uh, rad resist, which is pretty good for hunting through anomalies. So that's going to be awesome if we want to get into some anomaly fields and we will actually keep this in our inventory just in case we need it. And we also fixed our AK-74. I did this between episodes. I managed to craft an uh, army rifle kit or a repair kit type... Uh, what type is it? C? Yes. And we fixed our AK-74. Also, I made a few bullets. We might have to buy some more, but for now, it should be okay. We're still using our MP5 for mutant killing because we didn't actually manage to fix our shotgun. We also found another set of advanced tools, so we have two of them right now. Uh, which is kind of annoying. I need some basic tools to give to Hog so I can increase his uh, supply level. Right, other than that, uh, between episodes, I also slept right here in, in the base. And uh, the monolith stalker we were supposed to kill for one of our main missions... Oh, those, that, that guy's so distracting. The monolith stalker we were supposed to kill for one of our main missions apparently got himself killed. So I turned in that mission and we have the next one ready, which is mid with Loki in the Anav Station. Unfortunately, we can't do that until we turn off the Miracle Machine or at least get the Psy Helmet and turn off the Brain Scorcher. So it, we're still a pretty long way away from that. Um, oh, apparently this one got finished on its own as well. Okay, so for this episode, what I would like to do is I would like to check what other missions we have around that city. Um, then I would like to head to Yantar uh, so we can sell all the artifacts we have uh, stockpiled here. It's not a lot, but it should be uh, some cash. If we have enough, I'd like to buy a Psy Helmet. And uh, after that, I would like to go south to Agroprom. And with the gear we have now, I do believe we can do Agroprom Underground, a Stralox hideout, basically. I would love to do Kovalev's laptop for the anomaly missions. Unfortunately, we just don't have enough Psy Resist. Uh, that thing is so heavy on the Psy damage that uh, you, you actually need really good Psy resist to get into it. And I would also like to go to the Great Swamps again, just so I can finish the anomalous, anomalous study missions. We have one to do here and one to turn in here, just so I can get rid of all the anomalous measurement devices, because they are a lot of extra weight. It's two and a half kilos just wasted. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I hope we get to do everything. Dude? Hey. Are you alright? Hey. Alright, that's... 
we we got him out of uh of that uh <laughs> was passing out a little bit there right let's check our task board and before we check our tasks of course don't forget if you like the content i'm putting out on the channel and if you want to see more Please drop a subscribe, drop a like, and uh, yeah, you're welcome to comment on any video with anything you want to say. Any suggestions or uh, advice you have is always welcome. And if you have any questions, I really love answering and uh, trying to share the knowledge I have of the game, which is not the best, but honestly, uh, I do like to think that uh, I no stalker pretty well okay so we have delivered the package uh, to cordon no it's not in the way but um i would like to deliver a package to the great swamps it is in our plan to go there okay eliminate mutants in that city yes please and I'm going to double refresh all the time just because uh, I don't want to accidentally pick up the wrong missions again. Okay. Mutants are actually near the... This is the House of Culture, right? Yes. It's a pretty hot, big Psy field there, but uh, I think we can uh, do it either way. Right, so before that, I'm going to do a quick run around the base and check if anyone actually wants to join with us. We would still love to have a companion. Unfortunately, just no one wants to join. At this point, I wouldn't even mind paying some money. Okay, let's go deal with that. Um, it's a lurker, I guess, because we, we actually heard it. And it's also stuck. So, just tap it over the nose with uh, our little uh, 9 by 19 here. And we got two lurker meat, which is not bad. I'm just going to turn in this mission and then we will start heading south. Alright, job is done. And we got a little bit of money and some... Uh, some gun repair kits, which is not bad. Gonna do a little check and see if I need any meds. Yes, I would. Some meds. Hmm. You know what? Actually, I'll I'll buy them from uh, I'll buy them from the ecologists because they are much cheaper there. We still have a lot of bullets for our for our mp5 so i'm gonna keep using this to fight mutants there's a lot of snorks there uh the mercs actually did a cleanup job on them last night <laughs> and unfortunately they are too uh decayed for me to be able to loot them there's some dogs over there but honestly i'm not gonna bother with them Okay, here we are in Yantar. And I can already hear some dogs in the distance, so I'm gonna go up here on the hill to the right. There he is. I don't think he can actually reach me up here. Alright. And the other dog actually got fried, so that's good. You are dead, right? Okay, let's do a quick check. Alright, there is an artifact here. Well, we have a good reason to use our, um, our suit then. go and out okay in 95% burn resistance it's uh we, we could have walked straight through the could have walked straight through the fire anomaly without an issue oh 
someone is fighting something. I'm gonna guess it's Snorks. I would like to take some... Do we have any rad resist? We don't have any rad resist. Okay, but we can take some chem resist and I'm pretty sure there will be artifacts in here. I also would like to use one heal just in case. Because if we start walking through this lake, it will... Uh, it will hurt a bit. Okay, dogs, cats, <laughs> right. Oh, okay, let's let's make this a bit faster. Oh, don't worry, I'm not out to kill you. Oh, okay. Got the artifacts. Gonna do another quick healing, and there's a snork, right? Yeah. Can I have your hand, sir? No. Okay, let's not spend much more time here. Let's just go sell our artifacts and uh, see how much money we actually manage to make out of it. First, I'm going to buy some matches. This guy should have some. If I remember correctly. Uh, there we go. You know what? I'll take them all. Right, and we have enough water, we should grab a little bit of food. Uh, flesh bacon is actually pretty cheap, and where's the Tushanka? 290 calories, wow, flesh bacon is actually pretty good, except for the rads. Mm, you know what? Buy two of these, and we should be okay, although I probably just ate my way out of uh Ooh, hollow block. Uh, I probably just ate my way out of a Psy Helm, right? <laughs> Приветствую на нашей научной базе. Yes, yes. Hello, Professor. So let's trade. Ooh, what's that? Hmm. Chem and electrical's pretty good on this one. Fire resists a bit better too, but Oh wow, it's it's expensive. Okay, so I'm gonna sell you all of my artifacts. It's fifteen thousand. That's not bad. Um, would have loved to make another like eight thousand. Huh? He actually buys armors and for a not a bad price. But. Uh, yeah, I don't think we want to do that. I'll just grab some meds in that case. Uh, we can stock up pretty well from here, actually. It's very cheap. Okay, and that should be enough. And I can sell what I don't need right now, which is uh, these two. Mm, do I keep all this at Prezine? I don't think I need so much. Okay, anything else? No, I think this should be it. We also have a Psy block, which is good. Um, and hopefully by the time we come back from the Great Swamps, we will have enough money to buy our Psy Helm. Let's check on the task board, as always. Deliver, deliver the package to army warehouses. Mm, not really. Tracking location, Great Swamps will take that. And, oh, I had something. Lurker meat. Nice. I don't mind. I'm not cooking yet because I don't have any um, kerosene. And I'll also drop this in this box here just because I don't want to get irradiated anymore. Job is done. And we actually have a stash in Agroprom, which is pretty cool. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Uh, we can do that. Mm. And I think I'll take a little trip up here just to grab that stash really quick. Um, 
Also, I'm gonna do a little tour of the base, see if anyone wants to join. Okay, so apparently no one wants to join. Uh, well, that's that's the life of an ecologist for you, I guess. I have to hire someone. If the us, of course. Okay, um, we have some red reduction, so oh, nothing here. Okay, how about you, clear sky guy? No. No, he doesn't want to. Right. Oh. We grab the stash. And we'll just start heading south. I'm gonna have one of these luckies. Here we are. Now let's see, there's usually mutants spawn down here. Oh, okay, I... Uh, come at me, bro. Oh, there's two of them, okay. lag spike there. Gonna go a bit lower so I can... I think there's one on top of me as well. Or is it just the anomalies? Oh, there, there was definitely something there. All right, they're coming. Up we go. Okay. And they didn't drop anything. Great. So, stash under the train. Oh, okay. There is an electrical anomaly there. Oh, there it is. Sweet! That's actually not a bad stash. We got some meds out of it. Okay, um, I did a quick check to see if anyone wants to join. Of course, no one does. <laughs> okay, clear the research area. You know what? We could do that. Um, yeah, it's an ecologist mission. It doesn't uh, reach our rule set. Bandit faction patches, yes please. Maybe we'll get a little um, stash out of that. Or chops, I can give those because I have them on me. Okay, so let's turn this one in first because it's right here. Beat this guy, right? Just a little bit of money, but it's it's something. And we can actually eat on the way there as well. Oh, it's the guy in the tunnel up here. Okay. I'm gonna go really quickly through the base and uh, you know what? Let's check around here, see if there's anything on the ground that we can. Although I've been through here recently, so I guess not. Right, job is done, and we have a stash in the wild territory. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go straight to the agro farm underground. Gonna switch the assault rifle to HP, because, uh, I'm not feeling confident in the MP5 to run us through here. And just as um, I did in my uh, Agroprom guide, I'm going to go in this area. If you haven't seen it, um, it's not a problem, but uh, yeah, I do try to drop a few guys, guides related to the various dungeon 
dungeons you will find in the zone. And uh, yeah, this is one of them, and the Brain Scorcher will be released soon as well. So if you need any help with uh, the dungeons, make sure to check the other videos. In we go. So here we are in the Agroprom Underground, and uh, there's already signs of a poltergeist, so we're gonna move very, very slowly. Turn on the light as well. We're gonna have to avoid this um, anomaly here. And we can just slowly make our way down. Hmm. Expect to take damage here. Right, so behind us we'll have a lot of... Um, a lot of rats coming in. And... Usually over there, there's either a bloodsucker or a bure. Okay, we actually managed to get him right before he tossed the barrel at us, which is good. Okay, more coming. You can just hop up here and... Okay! All oh, right, there's there's another poltergeist around here. So again, we're just gonna walk slowly. And again, we caught it right in time, on time before it uh, threw a barrel at us. Um, so if if there's only small things, you shouldn't be very scared of poltergeists, especially if you move nice and slow. But, uh, okay, we're, we're all right to normally walk. But if uh, there's big things like barrels or uh, any other huge crowbars, poltergeists can be scarier than endgame mutants. Because if you don't have good impact, impact resistance, a poltergeist guys completely one shot you with the barrel all right um open everything here oh bandage right here's Trelock's notebook there are the military documents for which we have a mission uh water it's good and also take the porn notebook from the stash Right, that should be it. Unless we meet something else on the way out. There's usually a other high level mutants running around here, so let's let's not waste any more time. Let's just get out as fast as possible. Okay, some oil. That's not bad. Okay, and... Should be able to jump over this. Right, and we're out. Now, I think we got kind of lucky. We didn't meet any bloodsuckers, any viewers, so... This was a very nice Agrobomb Underground run. Also, I just remembered that I had a standard stalker um, a loner patch on my Seva bodysuit and uh, the military will murder me if I get too close but we tore that off so we should be okay alright I'm gonna want to check <laughs> that anomaly field there we will probably also find the anomaly that will be mentioned in Kovalev's laptop. Uh, we'll pick it up before we even know about it. 
Oh, a signet. Take that. And, uh... Right, anomalous sample. Easy. We got them both. Go out. And we... Smoke one of these. And now we can actually go to the military base and turn in the documents. Alright. It's a colonel. Mission accomplished, comrade colonel. Here are the documents from the Underground Research Institute. Excellent work. You executed your, the mission cleanly and you're still in one piece. Here's, here's your well-deserved reward. Alright, we got some reputation. And let's see what other assignments he has for us. You ready for some real work, soldier? Um, not a soldier, sir, but uh, sure. Right. X-18 lab. That's in Dark Valley under the military base. It's one of the scarier labs in the zone, in my opinion. This lab contains vital information about the development of the Kaimanov experimental emitter. Your objective is to retrieve any documentation you can find regarding this research and bring it here to headquarters. You'll be handsomely rewarded for your work with, what, 2,000 rubles? Come on. Um, Christ, Colonel, that's as good as you send, sending me to my death, especially since we're an ecologist. Like, really, there's some nasty shit out there. All right, fine. I'll be back with those documents, sir. Right. Well, uh, we're not going to do that for a while now, because uh, it's one of the labs I'm really scared of, and I wouldn't jump into one of those without at least heavy armor, honestly. Right, um, the military basically just want me to kill stuff. Bandit faction patches? Yes, please. Um... And you know what? I'll, I'll turn in that gun oil as well. We have it on us, and... Uh, oh, there was something there. Let me check that again. At Perazine. Or some clear sky dude. Sure. We'll have to do a little run around after him. And two bandages. Okay, this area is turning out to be pretty lucrative. We're gonna have to head back over there. Um, the job is done. Got a little bit of cash. Actually have 17,000 rubles. Uh, hopefully, with the Great Swamp stuff done as well, we'll have enough to buy a thigh helmet. So we can finally go and uh, do the damn miracle machine. I should also probably buy some bandages since I'm gonna turn a few of them in. Okay, what did he give me? I don't even remember. Oh, I didn't drop the Kolobok, or did I pick another one up? Mm, that's what's irradiating us. I'm gonna go get a uh, metal box for this artifact. Okay, we need anything else. We are honestly pretty, for the first time in this in this run, I can say we're pretty good on bullets, which is awesome. Uh, I don't think we need anything else, do we? We have water, we have food. Yeah, I think we're good. Maybe sell some of these things that we don't need. I know this gives metal, but right now I'm more desperate for, for uh, money than anything else. Okay, and we can stick this in there. Alright, we're gonna buy two or three more bandages. Right, and I'm gonna do a quick run all the way up to the base, so I will see you there.
back in the factory and uh, there's one stalker up here this your sky guys all this done and he gave us a stash in the garbage which mm, is kind of sucky but we'll take what we can get um kind of want to do a little clicky drop but uh my break my legs uh, calm down, please. Where's the... Are you the one? No. There's someone in the tray? Oh! Okay. Yantar behind the plant. Oh! These guys actually want to join. Okay, you know what? Two days. Oh, it's just one. Well, better than nothing, I suppose. Okay, so, next up, we'll head to the Great Swamps and deal with this mission over here. Yeah, no other stashes. That one is actually uh, in the Anomaly, so I'm not gonna go for it. And the other new stash is right here. We could get it sometime. And the last one is in the Vehicle Graveyard that we got, so, yeah, we should be good uh we also have two package delivery no we have a pack package delivery and the research area yeah we have some stuff to do in the great swamps so um let's let's get on with it That wasn't my best fight, I gotta say. What's that over there? Okay, let's just uh the magazine. I'm not in the mood to deal with the polder guys right now. We still ended up doing it. That's okay. Right, there is actually an artifact around here. There we go, cocoon and the other artifact sample that we needed. So if we manage to get Kobalev's laptop, we should be um, done with these artifacts. Okay, we're in the Great Swamps and I can already hear the bandits fighting. I think it's some dogs. Unfortunately, we can't order our guy to stand still. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go around the anomaly that I'm supposed to research. Just until I'm sure everything's uh, clear. I could even go a bit further back. So I can have uh, the rocks as a fallback. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa.
Okay, let's see. One. Dogs or renegades. Okay, I think the dogs won. So our guy is still engaged to something. Got it. Another dog, dog corpse. Where is that uh, renegade? I wonder. Oh, there he is. It's gonna be it for now. Right? Was he alone? The other question. Usually there's uh, two or three in this uh, this outpost here, but I think that's it. Okay, let's go to our uh, anomaly and see if we can uh, finally put it to rest. Right. Well, it's gonna be one of these, so. Well, I think the mission got a little bit bugged, simply because I have so many of these uh, on me. Which really, really sucks. But, that's that. We'll just move on to the next mission in line, which will be... Uh, we also already have these, so um, I'm just not sure where they are. Uh, souls like basically bugged a little bit so that's why okay we can go to the church and from there we can go left and right or you know what let's get the cracking device first we can pass through here and then go south to get the cracking device okay there's uh dogs I don't mind a few more mutant parts. I just hear another one. Nah, I think we're good. Oh. I felt like there was something there. That's, that's my guy. He scared the shit out of me. I'm amazed I managed to spot that one. It was so deep in the grass. Right. Back to the main road. And uh, we can head over to that base there. We'll check the stash, and uh, it, it, I'm pretty sure it's empty, but it doesn't hurt double-checking. And then we'll head down and kill the mutants uh, to the south. Or recover the device, whatever. Okay, we got fleshes! There's definitely another one there. Okay, 
One more. Слышь, сволочь, я тебя сейчас достану. Попал! Oh, and they actually ate some cat, unfortunately. And there's our cracking device. Perfect. So from here, we can. Uh, Um, hmm. You know what? I'll go here. Down this way. Then probably make a run to the um, uh, clear sky camp and then I'll come back to, to the church. I don't really like passing so close to the pumping station, but we should be okay. I didn't know there's an anomaly here. Just gonna keep running and uh, hope that the renegades don't see us. Okay, I think we're pretty safe. This town over here can have some bandits, bandits sometimes. Oh, kind of pull out the AK. Ah, oh, seems safe. Okay, here we are. Clear sky cam. Just doing the usual quick check. Uh, I want my guy to wait just until I finish talking to the mechanic. And uh, I do want to sell some stuff, right? Yes. Uh, specifically these, at least. And um, anything that's damaged to... Um... Other than that, I think we're good. Did we actually give basic tools to this guy? Hmm. Because he, he does have the Type B weapon repair kit. Okay, do we need any repairs? Um, actually, do that right here. Other than that, our weapons are in pretty good uh, state. Right. That was nice and easy. Okay, we can do a quick check for missions. Um, I'm gonna try not... Uh, this one's so nice and easy, but... Uh, I'm gonna try not to um, spend much more time here in the Great Swamps. I know most people don't like Great Swamps, even though I kind of like them. Uh, so I'm not gonna torture you guys with any more swampiness than you than is than is absolutely necessary. Okay, here we are at the watchtower, and uh, I'm gonna have Smart to climb all the way up to turn in this mission. Hello, sir. Oh, not you. Здорово, you? Job is done. And you need a guide? Where to? In Yantar. Uh, in 10 hours. Come with. No problem. We'll take you to Yantar. Right, next up, 
church mission. Uh, also, I'm not gonna go through Cordon, I don't think. Or should I? I could go Cordon Garbage. Wild Yantar. Also, there's a stash here. So, yeah. We'll go uh, from Great Swamps to Cordon, then Garbage, then... Oh, wow! That's, that's a whole squad following me. Oh, never mind going to Yantar. We're with, with this amount of stalkers, we can actually go and take out the the damn nuclear power plant. Okay, I hope you're not gonna be extra irradiated today in the church. Uh, I don't think anyone will join us simply because we have to many guys around. Okay, and here's the package we had to carry. Got a pretty good amount of money. I don't know what our guys are fighting over there. But one of them's uh, taking a little bit of a beating. I heard someone taking damage around here. I have no idea who. And if they're still alive. Nope. It used to be a trainee. Oh well. Not anymore. Also, did we lose someone? Let's let's go see what the hell our guys are doing over there. the hell are you guys fighting? That sounds like a snork. Oh, snork hand. Snork hand, nice. Can I have more? No. Where the hell did the snorks come from, though? They, they weren't there uh, when I passed through here. I don't see any corpses and that's good. Right. Um, let's go deal with the bandits in the base. Clear that research area over there. And then we'll make our way to Rookie Village. And I think think we will end the episode there. Alright, so we're getting closer to the camp. Um, passing the bridge is not always the best of ideas, but... Um, I'm confident we can take whatever's on the other side. I mean, we have six friendly stalkers with us. I'd be amazed if we didn't. Oh, he actually had a pretty good artifact on him. Ah, he wasn't here. Alright, pretty good. Hmm. 
I don't want to pass to Agro Farm right now. Yeah, let's let's just keep on going to Gordon. Well, we can pick up some stashes while we're there next episode. Okay. Gordon, I heard some cats. Yep. Oh, this this fence is actually a, a full-on wall. Right. We got it. Just hope our friends don't end up fighting the military over here. So I'm gonna make a quick run all the way up top. Right. I think I mentioned this before, but I'm a little bit more scared of Cordon than I am of uh, other locations. Simply because it's so um, packed. Not sure what they're fighting. Whatever it was, it's dead now. No, guys. What are these guys fighting? Ah, oh, okay. There's there's zombies up there. That's that's it. I gotta say, I love having a huge squad of uh, of your sky guys with me. Okay, so we'll end our episode right here. Um, we got a generator off of that renegade or bandit, whatever it was, which is pretty amazing. Um, I do remember it was used for something. I don't remember exactly what. But yeah, we're fully repaired. We have 20,000 rubles and we'll make more with what we have. And uh, yeah. Let's do a little recap. We started out in Dead City. And we moved uh, south to Yantar, sold the artifacts we had, um, grabbed a couple of missions, and then we ended up in Agroprom, where we... Hey, could you... Oh my god. Is that a bad version of... Uh, is that a weird version of, of um, Wonderwall? <laughs> okay, um, so we made our way to Agroprom. We finished a few quests around there. We did Strelok Stash, which is pretty awesome. We will have to go to Rostock uh, to talk to Barman about it. To see where Strelok went to next. And then we headed down to the Great Swamps, where we finished a couple of more quests. We found out that this anomalous study quest is uh, bugged, which is really annoying. Um, we simply have too many uh, measurement devices and the game just decided uh, it doesn't want to use any of them. Uh, yeah, we finished a few more quests in the Great Swamps and in the end, we made our way back to Cordon. We are in Rookie Village. And this is where we will, we will end. Next episode, uh, we will go back to Garbage. Maybe take a quick trip to um, Agroprom to finish the missions there. But we will have to go to Rostock. We have one main mission and a secondary mission to finish there. Actually, this one and also a stash. And uh, I'll probably swing by wild territory just to grab all these stashes, then go to Yantar and back to that city. 
And if we have time, maybe we will go to army warehouses as well, because we have a yellow stash right in the open, which is pretty amazing. And I also want to raise our reputation with uh, the Freedomers, mostly because uh, I want to be able to buy weapons from them. Um, we should do Crux Cemetery at some point as well. I'm just not sure how to, um, when to do it. Let me switch up the batteries in this. Much better. But yeah, and uh, after we go to that city, I would like to also buy a um, uh, Psy Helmet. So we can finally go in, loot all these stashes here, and also do... Oh, is this where you want to be? I don't think I can even walk in there with the clear sky, guys. Oh, well, we'll see. But yeah, I also want to do the Miracle Machine, and with the weaponry we have on us right now, I, I'm i pretty sure we can do it without uh, too many problems. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today today's episode. Uh, this has been Chromanim, and as always, I will see you all next time.